So reference error, color is not defined in JavaScript, usually means that you are requesting a variable that doesn't exist. Either you haven't defined it, or it wasn't defined at the time when you're requesting it. So let's look at this example here. We've got a variable called name, and we assign it to Adam, and then down here, we're requesting a variable called color. And because that doesn't exist, we see here reference error, color is not defined. So the solution is to either fix this, oh, now all of a sudden it exists, or we reconcile these names the other way, right? You do name and name. Now it doesn't matter if it's an object, you know, and, and, and you're calling it like color.get color, things like this, it's always going to fail. In this situation, it's going to fail because JavaScript is going to throw an error here at this first part. Now, here's an area where this commonly happens and people don't realize why. Switch to this one over here. So we're loading jQuery on this page. And here in this script, we're using jQuery. We're, we're using the dollar sign variable, which is defined by jQuery. But if you see the, the order of these scripts, you can see that jQuery is loaded after we're, we're trying to access the dollar sign variable, which is why, again, we get the same thing. So if we run this, cannot find variable dollar sign global, okay? So this variable at this point is undefined, and it doesn't matter if we're doing it in a script on the page or if we're doing it in an external file like the script file this is out of order. So in this case, we need to move the dependency earlier. We need to move jQuery early because this code depends on the jQuery code being loaded in first. So let's try it again. And there we go. Now it works. Good luck.